It's Vegan Recipes with Pat and Emily. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be sharing my recipe for cranberry sauce and it's going to be more than okay. To get started, I'm going to turn the heat on here. I have a half a cup of maple syrup to start with, a fourth of a cup of orange juice, and I'm just gonna stir these together. I like seriously never enjoyed cranberry sauce before I decided to try to make it like this. And I'm not even sure why I decided to do it because I already thought I didn't like it. So I hope you'll give this a try. Now that those are mixed together, we'll add our cranberries. These have been washed and rinsed and I'm not even cutting them in half. You're gonna wanna look through them though and pick out any that are not good. I am gonna let this come up to almost a boil and then I am going to turn it down and I'll check back in and show it to you guys. It's starting to get hot and bubbly in here. I'm gonna give it a stir and I don't really want it to come up to a boil. If it does, it's all right. I'm just gonna turn this down now. You can hear my cranberries. They're gonna start to pop a little bit. They'll all end up splitting open and you're gonna wanna keep it uncovered and turn it down to simmer and let it simmer. This is coming along nicely. You can see the cranberries are all starting to burst open open and eventually I'll just smash them down a little bit. This will turn into, you know, like a sauce. And I know cranberry sauce is usually a thing where people just take a little bit of it, but when I make it like this at my house, we will eat a whole batch of cranberry sauce between the two of us. You can see here this is starting to get pretty hot and bubbly, so I am going to turn it down some more. And I'm still just going to let it cook down until all of my cranberries have burst open. Alright, I feel like this has been cooking about um, 10 minutes. I All of my cranberries are pretty squished up in here and with the maple syrup that we added I started with a half a cup because I am going to taste this now and I can always make it sweeter and I like it when my cranberries are tart. I usually end up putting about three quarters of a cup of sweetener in this when I do it. All right, this is sweet enough with just a half a cup of maple syrup this time. You can see the consistency we're at. If you would like it a little thicker, go ahead and cook it down some more. If you don't want it this thick, stop a little earlier. Also, this is always great frozen if you like to eat frozen stuff. We're all finished with our recipe now. It's still nice and warm. It's sweet yet tart, so delicious. I hope you give this a try and come back and visit us next week.